So first we are going to discuss about two rectangular components. Okay. So two rectangular components means here you know one is x axis will come and y axis will come. Okay. So this is the particle. Okay. Suppose here I will take as a, what is it force example. So the net force is F. Okay. The force is splitted is two components. One is in the x axis, another one in the y axis. So this force is splitted as Fx and Fy. Okay. So how to find the resultant force here? Okay. See that the two rectangular components resolve. Resolve in a We have to split the vector. So F vector in x axis and y. I mean that is x y plane into two rectangular components because plane are it two over okay ma? so if for example here for example is a particle is there it is in the rg position so here some force uh, some force is acting on the particle the force is splitted into the two components one is along the x axis another one along the y axis okay one is along the x axis another one along the y axis okay so in the x axis okay the x axis the force along the x axis we can say that that is fx okay so this is uh, related with the x axis only then how you know it, whether it is x axis or y axis that is mentioned by the unit vector you know unit vector which is used to mention the direction so that is I cap. So Fx I cap means some force is changing in x axis, that is the meaning. Like that, in the y axis represented by Fy, its direction is mentioned by J cap. So Fx I cap, the force is changing along the x axis, okay, uh, the force acting on the x axis, and then Fy J is the force acting in the y axis. Okay, right. So now x axis okay, y axis okay. What about the net force? How to calculate the next net force? After we have to add these two force. Okay, so shall we add? So that is resultant force. So resultant force generally we can mention by that is F vector. So you know very well this is P vector. Okay, P vector is nothing but the x axis has some value up to p like that in up to q okay so that is a op vector then oq vector this resultant value is or vector okay so op vector resultant value is okay op vector value is fx i cap oq vector value is that is fyj cap okay then resultant vector is that is O R vector is that is F vector. Okay, right. So please listen, students. Now, okay. O P is there, O Q is there. That's all. This is the resultant. Okay. This resultant only we are going to calculate now. Okay. Resultant vector. So please listen. Then how to calculate here? The first listen. O R OR, OR is where? This is OR. OR is nothing but what? F vector. Okay. Next, OP. OP. OP is nothing but what? FX. That is FX. OP, just to OP is nothing but FX. But OP vector, OP vector is nothing but FX I can. Okay, because OP is nothing but just to magnitude only. Okay, that is FX vector. But here you know OP vector is nothing but with the direction will come. So Fx I can. Like that OQ value is Fy. Fy. Then OQ vector is equal to Fy J can. Okay. Right. So now you know what is OR, what is OP, then what is OQ. Okay. Now you know there is a vector addition. So a vector addition you know. So for example, um, 
O A vector. Okay. This is O B vector. Okay. Or B vector. So we want to add. This is you know A plus B. Or this is you know it is A vector. This is B vector. This is A plus B. This is vector distribution. You remember that? Okay. Like that, the same idea only we are going to follow here. See that O P vector plus O Q vector. Okay. O P vector plus O Q vector. Then how to add? See that. I will explain one more time with the help of the diagram. See that. O P vector plus O Q vector. Then how to add? Okay. So you know that. The first vector head is connected with the second vector tail. Then finally, you should be add like this. This is vector addition. The same thing only we are going to follow here. This is O P. This is O Q. O Q operate again. What do you mean? So it will come like that. Okay. Right. Now. We should be add. We should be join. That's why. So this is you know resultant vector. This point is what R. Okay. For derivation purpose, this is O P means this is also O P the same distance. This is like a rectangular components. Okay. Right. So O P vector plus O Q vector equal to O R vector. O P vector. Plus O Q vector that is equal to O R vector. So if you observe that O Q is equal to P R, that is very important point. What is that? O Q is equal to P R. Okay. So you should be remember that it is very very helpful. Okay. So now O P vector is nothing but what F X I K. Like that. O Q, O Q is nothing but what F Y J K. Like that, O R is nothing but what F. So this only we are going to finalize. Okay. So the how to finalize? Let's see that. Okay. So first one, let's take F X. So we want to find F X value. How to find F X value? So now we are going to find the F X value. So now let us imagine the angle into the horizontal axis. This horizontal axis is a vertical axis. Horizontal axis is theta. Okay, I'll give one idea. Okay, for example, this is along x-axis. This is along y-axis. Here you know theta. Yep, the theta end the joint over there. And the other cos theta over there. Okay, so you should remember that. Okay, for easy understanding, the theta joint over there cos theta. Then here you know vertical component that is a sin theta. Okay, so now like that. Now let's we take triangle O P R triangle O P R angle is theta. So I need cos theta. So the cos theta this is cos theta. So cos theta is equal to what? Cos theta you know adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent what? That is O P. Okay, I write here. Okay, so O P R O P, ah, that's all. So you know, O P is equal to O P. That is the value only. That is F X divided by O R. O R is nothing but that is value only. That is F. So F X divided by F. So cos theta is equal to F X divided by F. So F X is equal to F cos theta. So one component is over. Like that. Next thing we are going to find the F Y. F Y means here is there. So and you know very well. So here we want to use the sine theta. So anyhow, you should take you consider the triangle O Q R. Okay, okay. Or otherwise, you can use the same triangle. We can say we can find the sine theta. Okay. So in the sine theta, how to find the sine theta here? Okay. See that opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Okay. So now we can say that. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. So we can say that here that uh, opposite, opposite what? O Q. O Q is nothing but P R. So 
we are given by God. You can say in two ways. So the first way, let's consider as this is the theta. Theta opposite what? Theta opposite what? That is O cube. Hypotenuse what? That is O R. So P R divided by O R. O Q divided by O R. Or P R divided by O R. Okay. I don't want to this. I feel confused. If you like that means no problem. You simply write as triangle O P R. O P R. In triangle O P R sin theta how to write? So sin theta is opposite. Divided by hypotenuse. That is P R divided by O R. P R divided by O R. So P R is equal to P R is equal to what? O Q. P R is equal to O Q. So P R is equal to O Q. That's all. Anything. Okay. So O Q divided by O R. O Q is nothing but what? O Q. O Q is nothing but that is F Y. That is the value. O R is nothing but what? That is F. Therefore. Sin theta is equal to f y divided by f. Therefore, f y is equal to f sin theta. So now you know horizontal component and vertical component. So this value we should apply in this equation. Okay. So in this equation, therefore, f factor is equal to f x i cap plus f y j cap. Therefore, f factor is equal to f x i cap. F x what? F cos theta, so F cos theta into I cap plus plus F y. F y is what? F sin theta, so F sin theta into J cap. Okay. So now you should find very important point. You know this is F vector. This is F by F vector by magnitude. Okay, so here some values there. So for, for, um, some value, for example, here something is there. Okay, so if you find f is equal to b, so you put the whole root and then square. Okay, so whatever term in the right side, you should take square as as root. So that is the way to find the resultant value. It will be discussed in the last dialog later. So please listen. So now f cos theta. How to write the whole root of whole root of x squared cos squared theta and i squared. So you know i i squared i squared is nothing but what i dot i i dot i is equal to one. So like that j j dot j is equal to one. So this term will not come. I j term not come. So whole root of x squared cos squared theta plus x squared sin squared theta. So you know very well f cos theta equal to f x. F square cos square theta is equal to f x square. Like that, f sine theta is equal to f y. F square sine square theta is equal to f y square. That's all. Now result. So this is the way to find the resultant value in two rectangular components. Okay. It will be useful for to solving the problems. Okay. Okay, students. I hope you understand. How to resolve two rectangular components? Okay. In the next video, I'll send uh, three rectangular components. Okay. Thank you.